and what's up everybody welcome back to the channel it is your boy cheap ludes and the squad tip series has returned look full disclosure i've been a little too busy combination of busy and laziness as to why i haven't done it for the last few months but it has returned and i will be doing it every single wednesday every single week from this point forward so if you ever want to submit your squad get some tips and stuff like that you can always send it to me in a dm over twitter on like tuesday night um or i will post a community post like i did this time every single tuesday night and you can submit your squad and all the info there so if you've never watched the squad tip series before i take your squads and i try to make reasonable additions now when i say that i mean like there's a lot of squad tip videos that i watch where it'll be like you know you'll see the squad that is in front of you right now and it'll be like, yeah, go get uh, NBA 75 Anthony Davis. Duh, obviously. So I try to take the MT amount and play style and everything and make like feasible actual changes you could make, for lack of a better term. Shout out to Gru the Slump Guy. We got his squad here first. 11,000 MT, so kind of a low MT amount, but that's fine. I like a challenge. It's cool. Uh, play style, you know, drive and kick for the most part. Mostly play offline and clutch time haven't played in a couple weeks yeah i can i can see that so right off the bat you got eleven thousand mt to work with <clears throat> not a crazy amount of mt but a workable amount of mt so we got trey jalen brown franz wagner draymond mitchell robinson not the worst starting lineup pretty solid anthony buddy healed kelly Oubre, kuzma and Mowgli. it says here you are still grinding for demar Derozan. you might get him at some point but you're not sure okay so right off the bat Let's make some sensible changes. You got about 11,000 MT. Right off the bat, let's get rid of both your point guards. The reason I say that is because you can grind for Larry Hughes in a couple hours. Larry Hughes is fantastic. He plays point guard as well. It's just not updated on 2K TV. That provides you with a little bit better uh, player at the point guard. And then you can get this guy for about 3,000 MT. And I promise he infinitely improves your point guard position. And that's Bob Sura. So we're still working with about 8,000 MT yeah, to work with. Now... Let's get rid of your center because in about a five hour grind, you could get one of these two guys. It doesn't matter which one you prefer. Yeah, you got to play online to get him, but I think he's worth it. You could get DeAndre Ayton or Brooke Lopez, both infinite upgrades on your center position. Ayton would probably be the one that I would recommend. And the reason I say that is because if you use Mitchell Robinson and you like his defense and rebounding, I think Ayton brings you a little bit more of that. Brooke Lopez does bring you like, you know, range and the ability to stretch the floor a little bit better so i would say for that reason like maybe go with brooke lopez but i think ayton is actually the superior one to grind for now looking at the rest of the team while you're grinding for ayton you will also receive steven jackson who i think is a definite upgrade over franz wagner so during that like you know eight hour grind or so you're getting three possibly four players that i think would be uh beneficial to your squad for sure another guy that you'll end up getting would be byron scott who i think is pretty good gives you a little bit more flexibility at the uh point guard or shooting guard position though i would still go with larry hughes and bob sarah bob sarah is an absolute monster so you got about eight thousand mt left to work with okay very very doable i think buddy healed and jalen brown are fine obviously keep them draymond is still more than useful so there's no point to really get rid of him at this point he's still good kuzma is decent but i think you can do better than kuzma as far as at this position i think evan mobley is still more than usable the person i would recommend grabbing for now would be jeff green jeff green you can get for like not even kidding 1500 mt and he is fantastic right off the bat now if you wanted to spend a little bit more mt I don't think Josh Smith is out of the realm of possibility. You could definitely pick him up and plug him in the power forward position and like move Draymond to the bench. I think that overall is slightly better. So this would be what your lineup would look at after all the upgrades. I think this infinitely helps your squad out and it doesn't cost you a whole bunch of MT. If you were to grab Jeff Green, you know, the total you would spend would be around 5k MT. If you were to grab Josh Smith, the total you would spend would be around the full 11,000. Josh Smith is fluctuates somewhere between like 3 to 6 k MT. Now, that being said, that makes your team significantly better right there without even including these three guys. So that's probably what I would focus on personally. Let me know down in the comments if this helped you out at all. I hope this helps you, uh, you know, improve your squad a little bit. But I think just the addition of Larry Hughes and Bob Sarah right off the bat is going to boost your team. 
And then if you do grind for Aiton, you know, you do get Steven Jackson and Byron Scott as well, which I think help your squad out a little bit. And then uh, is Trevor Ariza in that one? Because Trevor Ariza is pretty good too. And then picking up like Jeff Green or Josh Smith, I think will definitely uh, help you out too. Look through your collection, see if you have any players that you don't really think about that might be worth some MT, give you a little bit more MT boost as well. So let me know if that helped you out. Franz Wagner, I know. It hurts to lose him. All right, next up, we got my man. Is that Cisco? Okay, interesting squad here. Pretty good, though. We got Bob Sura, Joe Johnson, Signature, Tatum. Okay, interesting. Uh, Siakam. Siakam's obviously fire. You don't need a whole lot of help now, do you? DeAndre Ayton. So, as you can see, like Ayton's pretty fire. Off the bench, we got Larry Hughes. We got Harden. Interesting. It's Mystic Harden as well. Jalen Brown at the small forward. Who is that? Is that Lucas? My boy Mo Lucas out here at Power Forward. Not Jerry Lucas. We need a new Jerry Lucas card, though, for real. Like, we really do. And Garnett. Okay. Oh, and you also have Jason Richardson as well. All right. The squad's nice. Um, well, how much MT do you have? You have 714K. Okay. <laughs> okay, you have enough MT where it's fine. Uh, the one thing I would do right off the bat, move Joe Johnson to the bench. I think Joe Johnson is a significantly better uh, bench shooting guard due to his extremely low stamina, so it's better to have him out there for like less time. And move on from James Harden. Everything else I think is fine. Um, I'm going to make another suggestion that I think might help out a little bit, but it's not absolutely necessary. Um, instead of James Harden, I would just go, if you're looking for someone who's going to be more of a, a scoring threat, I would go with Dissinger. Dissinger is fine. Uh, he's like one of the best shooting guards in this game. And I think that brings a little bit more ball handling to your starting lineup. Joe Johnson's fantastic for sure. I just think he's much better, you know, off the bench. And I think Larry Hughes is really, really good off ball as well. So I think that does help out a lot. Dissinger would be the guy I would recommend. I mean, you could put Kawhi Leonard out here. You could put, you know, Jimmy Butler, Julius Irving. There's like a pretty good stable of like higher tiered uh, shooting guards you can put up here. But I think Dissinger for his price is absolutely the best. Now, looking at the bench unit, if you really like Garnett, maybe stick with Garnett. I just don't know about Garnett and Mo Lucas next to each other because Mo Lucas isn't the greatest offensive player. And Garnett, although he's very good defensively, I think has a slow jump shot. One person to look at, I know it sounds silly because he's a cheap card, but Serge Ibaka is not that much worse than Garnett defensively, if he even is, and brings you a significantly better jump shot with gold range. So it's something to think about for sure, because Garnett's good, but Serge Ibaka will run you like 9,000 MT, and I think produces basically at the same level as Garnett. So it kind of just depends what you're looking for. Other than that, you don't need to make any like radical upgrades to your team. But if you're looking for like a true upgrade, I think Dissinger would be the one that I would do because I think that brings like an element to your offense that would definitely be helpful. So shout out to you for submitting. I hope that helped you out at all. Let me know in the comments below. Next up, we got my man Corey Blackridge. OK, so what are we looking at here? We got Lamello. OK, Lamello's fire, obviously. Amethyst Giddy. Dude, people love this Amethyst Josh Giddy Garden. You know what? I score really well with him. Jalen Brown. Okay, what's the second shooting guard? Diamond Sura. It's not a bad complimentary piece. Detlef at the small forward. Okay, interesting. Aaron Gordon at the small forward off the bench. Not terrible. Like, it's fine. PD Collins. Okay, and then off the bench, we're running Mobley. Okay. And then we got Abaka and Mitchell Robinson. Okay, cool. I think it's signed, but I could be wrong. It doesn't really matter. There's not really any difference between the two. And then Mitchell Robinson. Okay. Need better small forwards, power forwards. Okay. You have 73K MT left over. You, you want Lamelo. You have 13 Hoff badges. You have Candace Parker. Cool. I mainly play offline. All right. Sweet. Uh, play styles Hawks 2018, but with magic playbook. Okay. I don't really have any methods of playing the game. You just kind of play for fun and kick out for threes. Okay. Cool. All right. So, 73k MT, you don't want to, you know, destroy it all, essentially. So, 
looking at like the options that you have, since you mostly play offline, it's not like the worst thing in the world. Right off the bat, Mobley's fine. You can run Mobley if you still want. Um, I would say Josh Smith would be the guy, though. <laughs> like, I know I'm going to suggest Josh Smith a lot, but Josh Smith is truly, like, one of the best cards you could buy at this price point. Like, truly. I mean, you can get him at, like, 5K or whatever, and he brings you elite defense and good scoring. So Josh Smith right off the bat, and I would honestly even think about putting him in the starting lineup because I think Josh Smith is really, really good as far as a starting caliber player like he is now looking through some other cards like let's look at some shooting guards and stuff that you might be able to pick up like i said i don't want to like bankrupt you mt wise uh this is a card i've obviously talked about for a while and it's something that i think he would be very helpful honestly mike miller is really good like he can facilitate he plays really well in an offline capacity and you can get him for basically nothing sorry my throat's messed up he is a little bit pricey at 12k, but I still think he is worth that price for sure. That's someone to think about. Another card to think about, and I can't, you know, I can't say for sure that this card is going to be a card that everybody likes and is good for everyone, but, you know, don't sleep on my boy NBA 75 Scotty Pippen. NBA 75 Scotty Pippen is fantastic. Now, the fact that you do play offline. You can get Larry Hughes offline, not touching online, and I think it'd be relatively easy. I would say Larry Hughes is not a player that I would say is a bad guy to pick up. I mean, for instance, you could easily go with one of these right here, slot Larry Hughes at the shooting guard, run Jalen Brown at small 40 is big enough to play that, especially offline, and that can instantaneously make your team a little bit better, for sure. Or you can move Bob Sarah up and throw Larry Hughes on the bench since he's much, much better with the ball, like not in his hands. But realistically, you're going to be ball handling with Lamella or Josh Giddy for the most part. So I think this right here, what I just did there, makes your team significantly better and you don't have to spend a bunch of MT. If you're looking for a really cheap small forward because you don't want to spend MT or saving it, uh, don't sleep on Jeff Green. Jeff Green's fantastic. If you're looking for like a really cheap center to run, um, honestly, don't sleep on Thon Maker. Thon Maker is pretty fun to use, and he's relatively good. So, another cheap small forward to look into uh, that'll run you about 3K or so. MT would be Darius Miles. He's not the greatest card in the world, but he's relatively fun to use, and especially if you're just playing offline. Not terrible. Scotty is somebody I recommend because he's got a really big green window. Granted, it's a slow jump shot. He's one of the best defensive cards in the game, and he attacks the rim. He's got the Scotty Pippen behind the back, which pretty much cheeses the CPU all the time. I think you're fine to roll with Mitchell Robinson if you really want to. Like, especially if you're offline, he's going to block a bunch of shots, play, like, great defense. So it's not the worst card in the world to use. And if you're looking for, like, an offline or an online center, I should say. Um, yeah, Mobley is probably altogether, like, a better guy to run at that position. But I think these changes to your squad right here will be fine. Any of these guys will be good. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. All right. Next squad. Shout out to my man, Drake. Let's take a look here. We got Bob Sura. You know I'm always down for some Bob Sura. You know that's not going to change at all. Jalen Brown. Darius Miles. Medical scammer. Fantastic. Josh Smith. Okay. I like what's going on here. Bill Russell. Okay. Bench unit. We got Larry Hughes. I told you, Larry Hughes is so fire. Buddy Healed. Evode. Okay. Yeah. Diamond Buddy Hill. Cool. Diao. Signature, I believe. I think it says, yeah. Obi Toppin. You know what? Respect. I never see anyone running Obi Toppin. So I actually respect that for sure. And then Serge Ibaka. Okay. Ibaka's so good, dude. Like, he's so good. Okay. I have 85K. Coach I use is Amethyst Steve Nash. I mainly drive and kick. Okay. Sweet. I green a lot with Obi Toppin. I love his release. All right, so we're not going to get rid of Obi. Um, Jalen Brown and Buddy Healed. I don't green with Larry Hughes or Ibaka. Okay. We're off the bat. Squad's really solid. Uh, oh, Bill Russell is the other person you don't uh, green with. Yeah, okay. Totally understandable. Bill Russell is kind of a pain sometimes um, as far as like green. So you mostly play offline. Okay. So Bill Russell, if he's kind of giving you problems as far as like greening, uh, there's a couple like budget-ish 
centers to kind of try out, especially because you're playing mostly offline. Um, a couple of those guys that I would try out would be Andrea Bargiani. Bargiani is really, really solid offline. I mean, he stretches the floor. He actually plays better defense than you would expect. Bond Maker and Evan Mobley. I think those guys would be excellent budget options to try out. Obviously, we're getting more content Friday. So those are probably some decent guys to try out. Maybe Bargiani move Serge Ibaka up to the starting lineup, sell Bill Russell, and then run Bargiani because you can get Bargiani for like 5K. Josh Smith does not play terrible at the center position either, just a heads up. It's not ideal, but it's really not terrible. And I think the rest of your squad, I would just kind of hold off and wait for more content. I don't think there's any reason, especially because you like Obi Toppin. There's real, no real reason to kind of move on from that. Um, another center to look at, though, is for on, for offline play would be Chris Birdman Anderson. He's actually pretty good. Not a terrible guy to pick up. Like, he's not. I would recommend trying Bargiani first, especially if you like to kick out for threes. That's kind of more your speed. But if you're looking for more of a defensive guy that can also hit the occasional open three, Chris Anderson has a much better release than uh, Bill Russell and is comp- comparable enough defensively. Plus, he gets some extra XP by getting blocks with him. So it's not really that terrible. You know what I mean? Everything else I would keep the way it is. I don't think there's really anyone specifically to try out. I mean, if you want to go try out Jeff Green, I like Jeff Green a lot, and I think he'll be pretty good. I'm not going to say he's better than Diaw or anything necessarily, but you might prefer him over Diaw specifically. So let me know what you think down in the comments below. I hope that helped at all. But, you know, can't guarantee anything. So (laughs) I hope it helped, though. And finally... Shout out to my man, Aaron. So we got Baron Davis. Okay, you do not see Baron Davis that often, which is interesting because he's pretty good. People people who use Baron Davis typically love Baron Davis, though. Uh, then we got DeMar. Okay, Josh Smith. You already know what's up there. And Chris Dops. I haven't suggested anyone get Chris Dops yet in this video to be honest it hasn't made sense for any of the squads to go to spend 40k on Kristaps but truly he is one of the best centers in the game um that being said I just haven't really felt the need to suggest him I'm sure somebody is wondering why I haven't dropped Porzingis none of the play styles have really uh called for Porzingis when you can get free cards that you know you can grab for that are better and Mobley okay pretty good budget squad all things considered Okay, Steph is your coach. You have four hundred K MT. Um, usually run Bucks or Hawks freelance. I like to three hunt, drive to the rim. Uh, Sura and Tingus, you uh, green with the most. You green the least with Josh Smith, but I like his defense. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Okay, so you run Manu or Oladipo. Okay, I didn't even see that. All right, interesting. I mean, Manu is not terrible. Like he's not the worst card in the world. You have four hundred an 80k mt which is a pretty good mt amount it just kind of depends how much you want to save um yeah i would say right off the bat a couple things i would do if you're looking to improve your shooting guard position without playing too much or without spending much larry hughes is a very good player to grind for like i said it takes a few hours i'm not going to give you like an actual time limit on that you guys notice how i don't do that the reason for that is it's different for everybody you know what i mean you have to get blocks with Darko Millis kick. That could take two hours, one hour, or it could take like 10. It just kind of depends. Uh, Larry Hughes is worth it though. He plays really, really well at the shooting guard position, and he plays good, good defense. So you won't have to worry about swapping Oladipo and Manu, depending if you need something defensively. He's overall better than both of those guys. So that's definitely something I would recommend doing. Um, in addition to that, you guys know I love Scotty Pippen. I'm not going to tell you to get rid of Scotty. Starting lineup is fantastic. I Baron Davis is a lot better than people give credit for. You might even find it better to run Larry Hughes over Jalen Brown, but that's kind of personal opinion. John Collins and Evan Mobley are still really, really good. If you're looking to pick up anyone that may help over Mobley, like Serge Ibaka is still really solid. Pretty much the same stuff that Josh Smith brings you, like Ibaka brings you at the center. He's basically an improved version of Evan Mobley. But by the way, Larry Hughes has the same jumper as Evan Mobley. So if you like Evan Mobley's jumper, you're going to like Larry Hughes. Um, Abaka would be, you know, probably my only real upgrade at the center position. But if you wanted to stick with Mobley, it's not like that much of a downgrade. So I'm not going to say one way or the other. Um, you could obviously grind for Aiton 
but that does take some time so it just kind of depends and you have enough mt where you don't necessarily have to do that so shout out to you i think larry hughes really makes your team significantly better like that's about it there's not really that many purchasable uh shooting guards that i think make like a huge upgrade besides like dissinger Kawhi leonard and you know they're 80 to 100k and i don't know if you want to spend that right now obviously dissinger or Kawhi would be instantaneous upgrades for your squad but i mean like do you really want to spend 80k on a card that quite possibly will not be outdated but not be a top five card in three weeks you know what i mean where you can get larry hughes for a couple hours of your time and he is more than usable at the shooting guard position so i don't know let me know what you think down in the comments as always has been your boy cheap lude sorry i'm not as entertaining this time it's the first time i've done this this year you know i kind of get better with time so Drop a like on this video, comment down below. Like I said, I'll be doing these every single Wednesday. So, you know, if you want to have your squad featured, you can do that. Just, you know, send your squad over to my Twitter on Tuesday nights or drop it in the, uh, I forgot what it was called for a second, but the community post that I drop every Tuesday evening. So I will be back streaming later. I don't know if I'll be on Twitch or on YouTube. I'm not entirely sure. So I will let you guys know if you guys haven't already followed my Twitch, you should definitely go do that. Twitch.tv slash cheap ludes. You know, you don't have to watch at least just follow. You know what I mean? And uh, I will see you guys later. Peace.